What do we think? I like it, I can vibe with it. I'm really happy there are two gigantic windows right here because the lighting is really good and aesthetically behind me, like I can dig it. I can dig it, it looks good. Okay, so what is going on in this video? We are doing an office tour. So I just showed you, oh that's really bright though, hold on. That's better. Okay, I just showed you some of the video footage from, or like the B-roll from when we went to Arizona and what was the other B-roll? Oh yeah, just when I went to Barnes and Noble and I was planning everything out in my handy dandy planner. So yeah, just figured I had some B-roll. I was like, I may as well use it because what else am I going, <laughs> what else am I going to do with it? <laughs> So in today's video, like I mentioned last week, we are going to do an office tour and then we're going to do a revamp of the office as well. So I was kind of like, maybe we should just do the revamp and the decorating first and then give the tour. But since this is the first time I'm filming in this space, I was like, no, I kind of want you to see what I'm working with and what it looks like now so it's kind of like a before and after so i think the before actually looks pretty good it's pretty organized which you'll see in a minute as i take you through everything let's go ahead and do that tour of the office shall we all right this is the space okay <laughs> so let's start over here so there's a lot of wall space and obviously this wreath is going to come down. I don't know what we're going to do with this wall space or there's wall space over here as well. So I'm not really 100% sure. This was an old entertainment center that is just kind of housing some binders and like my camera gear is in this bin. I think there's cards and like I don't even know. I need to go through all of this because I don't even know what's in here as well as go through the binders. I do want to replace these because they don't match since the office is more like woods and browns now. So I'm thinking because I found this one that I want to kind of do more of this like sage green in here because I think that'll look, that'll look really nice and can be used year round, even with the Halloween decorations. So I think these are probably going to go, but right now they're just, they're just sitting there because I didn't know what to do with them. And then over in this corner, there's a shredder. There's just extra frames. These are my storyboards. So you know what's coming <laughs> for Preptober. And then we have the record player, more wreaths as well as a safe. So I believe we are going to move the safe out of here just so that way there's more room in the office and then this desk is new this is something that we picked out together and so yeah it's nice because it's the kind of like the l-shaped desk like I had before and then you know just like a regular calendar pens a little cell phone holder my lovely Mac desktop and then my laptop which I need to change out the cover for Halloween and for the fall season and then this is just an extra monitor and these I'm going to be changing out the flowers in those like I did last year as well for Halloween. So here is the fun part, the bookshelves. So these two are my fiancés mostly except for that Harry Potter shelf. That one's 
That one's mine because you guys know I have a lot of books. So he was nice enough to offer up two of his shelves and helped me organize all of them. So it's kind of like split into two. These are mine and those are his. And yeah, he put the lights up and everything. So it feels very much like my old office did, which is really nice, but I love the the shelf situation. So this is probably gonna stay the same even for Halloween, but I may just change out like the little plant decorations. See, I already have some, some Halloween stuff over here. And then this has kind of become a catch-all station. Again, there's a lot of space on the wall. So maybe, I don't know, we'll hang some artwork or a tapestry or I don't know, something, maybe some shelves. I have no idea, we'll get creative. But over here, ignore this. This is kind of just, I don't know, like a file folder and then my old signs from BookCon, my painting easel, <laughs> my tripod. So I need to find a home for those things. But this has kind of become a, a catch-all, like I said, but it's also a shipping station, which is pretty cool. So if you look down here, I have all of my shipping supplies for my books and whatnot. And this is cool because it pulls out. So I really like that. I need to organize it more obviously. So this is quite the unorganized <laughs> office tour, but I just wanted to show you the space that I'm working with. And so yeah, this, all this decor is going to change for fall. And yeah, and here are all my index cards. <laughs> for storyboarding, which I'm really excited to do come Preptober. So let's do a little tour of the desk because there are drawers and whatnot. So very similar to my desk at my old house. This is just like notebook central. <laughs> so I'm gonna organize this better as well, but right now all of the notebooks are going to be stored in here as well as like my uh, mortgage paperwork, the deed paperwork, all that kind of stuff for the house. And then I really like this feature on the desk because this pulls out. And so I like that, you know, I can kind of hide the keyboard and the mouse because they're not really very aesthetically pleasing. I just feel like they're always in the way because I'm usually writing and stuff like that up on the actual desk. So this is nice that it has this, this feature. And then over here we have three drawers. So the first one, just has more little notebooks. So I wanna get little organizers for this drawer as well, but this is like stickers for my day planner and some extra little notebooks. What is this? <laughs> uh, this is, oh, these are pens and cords and paper clips and these little cute bags that I got from Story Art. So I definitely need to organize that. And then this is more notebooks. So all of my manuscript edits, and just all my notebooks with all the ideas. So I know while I was doing the office tour, I mentioned this planner that I found at TJ Maxx. I wanna show you why I like it so much. So it's by the company Graphique, G-R-A-P-H-I-Q-U-E. And they had a lot of them, at least the TJ Maxx over here. But what I really like about it, let me find here, like for August. Oh geez, okay is it has the week over here, but then it has this page. And it's like this for every single week where it has a do not forget, a top priority, a to-do list, and then a notes list. So I kind of started putting a habit tracker in this box since there's no lines. So that's kind of become a habit tracker. And then I have like my top three for the week, extra to-dos, and then notes. This looks really creepy with my eyes like this, <laughs> but it's like this for every single week, which, because I was finding that I would just use, for example, a loose leaf sheet like this, a to-do list, and I would just like stick it in my planner, but I would also lose this sheet a lot. So anyways, I kind of like that it's all just in one, just in one planner. You can't really see it because it's so bright, but I just wanted to mention it in case you are also looking for a new planner and you tend to just grab little notepads like this to write your to-do list on and then realize you've lost it or can't find it. This is a great alternative. It's like the only planner I found that has that kind of spread each and every single week. And then at the beginning of the month, it has like the full month calendar spread, just like you would normally have in a planner. 
so I really like it. it looks like it's going really well and it is but here's the reality of it none of this fits that it was all in the drawers without this is crooked this is very crooked oh well <laughs> we're just a mess right now none of none of this fits I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'm I'm questioning whether or not I actually need it so yeah but I just wanted to show you the reality. Like, yes, the drawers look very pretty and aesthetically pleasing, but there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't fit, so. <laughs> people so that is going to conclude today's vlog I really hope that you enjoyed it and thank you for you know coming along with me for my new office tour thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out the right 50k in 30 days accountability program because we start on October 1st and I'm running a sale on it all the way through the month of September so if you plan on participating in Preptober and NaNoWriMo and you want to write your book I would love to have you you can go to kristenmartinbooks.com slash 50k 30 days there's a video on there you can like learn everything about the program on the website but I'll make sure to leave that link in the description box below for you as well again thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video bye